Hi everyone, welcome to the video. This one is a little conundrum we had a while ago when we were making these gates that are on the screen right now. The gates are, were a commission job, but the components making up the gates are all very small parts which are all individually joined with loose tenons uh, to each other. Now, the machine that was used was the Festool Domino XL for this and it, uh, it threw up a few problems for us. None uh, least was the fact that, as you can see on screen right now, if your small piece doesn't hang over the edge of the, uh, the bench that you're working on, then the machine uh, ha can't register from the plate on the top. It has to register off the, off the base of the machine. Now that causes a few issues when it comes to lining everything up when you're trying to put your joining together. So we've come up with a, a solution which is basically just a, a plate for the machine to sit on and it's encapsulated with a rail and a stop at the back and then we've got some brackets which uh, hold it in place which are what I've been uh, fitted onto the, onto the base there right now. Now it's also set at an angle so that we have the benefits of gravity helping us in this situation as well. As you can see, there's, there's nothing beautiful about this. It's just a very practical solution to, uh, to a problem that we've had. What it does is it basically puts the, the front of the machine out into the open so that we have um, registration of small parts. It does raise a bit of a safety issue if you were to use this by hand. Uh, but the way we use it is by putting our small part and clamping it to the plate therefore taking your hands away from the, the, uh, the cutting edge. What happens is that once you've clamped it and uh, you use the machine in its, uh, its normal orientation with the, the handle and just plunge down as you would if you're using the machine on a bench top. first built this and put the machine on, we were planning on putting a, a strap over the top end of the machine to stop it from um, possibly falling back over, but honestly the way the angle is and the gravity that helps you, uh, it feels really secure and then when you're using it, it actually helps that even more with pushing it down into the plate. So here's a bit of a demonstration, I'm just basically Put a pencil mark on two pieces of wood, one line in one way and one in the other, so you can actually create it in the joint. Uh, as you can see, thing is completely away, the current thing is doing its job. And same again with the adjoining component. Clamp on. And we're only going in 15 more here, so we're quite safe. There we go, that's the joint cut on one side. Let's put it together. There we go, perfectly level, exactly what we're trying to accomplish. 